Well, it's the last part of Deep Purple Smoke on the Water. We're just gonna run through the outro and how it slightly differs uh, from another part of the song. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna crack on straight with it now. If you've been enjoying these videos though, subscribing there makes all the difference. So the riff's been going on underneath you while you finish the solo. Uh, that means you only get to play it one time when you're dropping back into it. Uh, if you wanna know how to do that riff, of course, just check out earlier in the video. <laughs> And then you drop into this section which we've discussed before. So you have four of those and then you go back to this same um, C power chord uh, section here. This is where the change comes. So you're gonna play this riff through three more times, but on the final two times, as I've written out here, it goes like this. It's got an extra note. And then the outro here is a very freestyle kind of feel to it, a very loose kind of jam that's going on here. Um, while the organ solo happens, you're gonna do a lot of uh, things down on the fifth and third frets with those bars. very very loose and it's quite hard to uh, transcribe down uh, rhythmically you're basically just gonna play around with these notes and then you've got and it fades away with that kind of offbeat rhythm happening worry too much about it but just in case you're trying to be super super accurate to what's going on there on that record and then you're out you've done smoke on the water a classic from deep purple i hope you've learned a little bit about how it might differ to how you've been playing it um, and thanks for watching we'll see you next time on the channel do subscribe that'll help goodbye